scripting Instagram is pretty popular among e-commerce companies or companies that offer some sort of platform for influencers. And in today's video, what we're gonna be doing is going through an example workflow on any end. Essentially what we're gonna do is search for different types of hashtags. We're gonna scrape the posts associated with those hashtags. And then what we're gonna do is grab the information from the creator that made those specific posts. And we're gonna export that into a Google Sheet. Uh, this is going to use two different Appify actors, and I'm going to show you how we can connect those together and really a few other options on how you can expand out this workflow for your business. Uh, before we do jump into this workflow, if you do need any help building out anything with any end or need any data needs for your business, I am taking on freelance customers. I have my contact information down below in the description. Also, all the Appify actors will be linked down below too. Anyways, let's jump into this workflow. All right, guys. So here is going to be the workflow that we're going to be building here in this video. I'll take you node by node. Uh, a few things to call out. Number one, if you want to scrape Instagram profiles specifically from hashtags, which is going to be this use case over here, you're going to need two nodes. First, you're going to have to scrape the hashtags and then you're going to have to scrape the information that's associated with those hashtags, right? Oh, the posts with those hashtags, I should mention. So uh, this is a two two actor job with Appify. And I'm gonna put the links for these down below in the description if you would like to take a look at those. Additionally, so I built this out um, one day before this uh, became active in NAN. So you can see now we have the Appify logo and we have a node, which is awesome. And I'm, in, I'm just running cloud right now, right? So in the past, I used this HTTP request and it wasn't bad but now this is built in and uh, you know, it increases the node from one to two, but at the same time, it kind of makes sense. You run the actor and then you get the items from the actor with to get the data set items. So let me taking you through that, but I do have a full video on the channel. If you want to take a look at all the different information of changing this out. Um, if you're like me, I have multiple different scrapers that I've used Appify for. So, Highly suggest that you check out that video. In fact, uh, this is the use case for that video, but I just kept these down over here just to show you in the past, right? We have HTTP requests and, and now you can just use the Appify nodes right in over here. Um, so again, just kind of how this workflow works, right? So I just have a form, right? Which we're gonna grab in a hashtag. Then we're gonna grab some posts associated with that hashtag. We're gonna edit the fields because we don't need all the information. We're gonna format this. Uh, so then we can send it into our next actor, which essentially gets information on Instagram profiles, right? And then what we're going to do is edit those fields because we don't need everything. We're going to filter by followers because we don't want to reach out to, you know, smaller creators. And then we're just going to add uh, information to a spreadsheet. So what we have is over here, a spreadsheet, right? We have the username, we have a bio, and then we have followers. And there's a few things to mention, right? you can greatly expand this out. This is just like a very basic MVP for a YouTube video for people to follow along, right? Where this could be expanded out, number one, like don't always necessarily have to scrape hashtags. There's a lot of other ways that you could scrape. So there's that side of things, right? If we go back over Instagram scraper on here, right? There's a ton that, that Appify has, right? So I just used the hashtag scraper because I saw this was a job once on Upwork and I felt like it'd be an awesome video for you guys to make. And plus, you know, if I ever see that job again, I'm just going to send them this video. Um, but you have all this over here and there, I'm, I'm sure there's more also on the Appify store if you take a look at it. Um, so wanted to use that, right? And you can expand this out, right? So maybe there's something with a post or a reel, right? And you want to use it for scraping instead of hashtags. So just saying that, that there's a lot of flexibility on that side of things. And even with the form submission, right? You could send in multiple uh, things on a form and then just have workflows that go in specific ways based around what the form submission is. All right, so there's that way. Additionally, right, after we have all this information, right, maybe you wanna summarize the bio, right? Instead of having all this bio over here, maybe there's specific things that you're looking for in a bio and you wanna filter that out, or you wanna use a model to summarize the bio in like two or three words, right? And you can just put an AI agent over there, right? Again, I didn't do that for this video because I'm just showing you guys the basics on this side of things, but you could do that as well. I'm just appending rows in a sheet, right? Nothing really crazy, just followers, bio, username. Again, you could put like the hashtag over here, other information that you specifically want um, that you get from the scrapers, right? 
again, keeping it super simple. And if you guys do want anything built out a little bit more complicated for your business or you're trying to learn and things like that, just hit me up because I am taking on customers on that side of things. So with that out of the way, let's uh, walk through how this works. So the first thing to note is we're going to do a form on here. So all you do is just click this plus icon on that side of things and you just do a trigger, which look for on form submission, right? So what I have over here, and I'll just go on that side of things, is I just named this form Instagram profiles per hashtag, right? I put in a hashtag over here. I just kept the element text right here because a hashtag is text. And just to show you what this form looks like, it's gonna unpin the data, unfortunately, but that's fine, we'll run this through. So I'll click unpin and test, right? And you'll see that this populates in a new, uh, hey guys, sorry for the cut, but uh, just wanna let you know that the form isn't working today on NAN. I'm not sure what the reason is. I also just updated my instance of NAN to the latest version, or at least better version, I should say. And I also tried another computer, same issue, right? So. What I did really quick is I just put in data over here, right? So if I just click this icon, I said edit output. Uh, what I did is just pass in this JSON that says hashtag non sports cards. That's the hashtag we're going to take a look at, right? So I just populated that over here. There's other things that would populate in the JSON from the form, but we're only going to be using the hashtag uh, for the next side. So I just did that, pin the data. So um, because that form isn't working. And obviously the focus on this video isn't the form, it's the, you know, the Appify actors and how this all works. So if you are having that issue right now, and you probably aren't because I'm sure anyone already solved it, um, there's that. So I apologize for not showing you what the form is. I promise you this is a very basic form. All we do is have a field over here called hashtag. We have text and then a user can just populate their text. Okay, so we'll keep that there. We'll keep moving forward. So the next step on here, right, is to run an actor. And really there's like two different ways that you could do this, right? In the past, I used this HTTP request, as I mentioned a little bit earlier in the video. And on this side of things, it wasn't bad, right? I did a post, then I went over here and uh, essentially would go to API, API endpoints, all right? Run an actor and get data set items. So I'd go there and use that, right? Just grab this URL. I would then use a generic credential, query authentication, right? I know it says LinkedIn company profile scraper, but that was for a video. And then you just click this pencil icon, you call this token, you pass in your token value, which you can get if you click this on here, right? And I don't recommend this approach anymore. And then you would send a body, you would send the JSON. So uh, that's outdated. Now you have these that are native within NAN. So what you wanna do is run an actor, First, you wanna to go to your Appify account and set that up. So all you have to do is pass in an API key. So the way you do that is you just go here to settings, API integrations, copy in this key, right? So just click that and copy that into your account. I'm just gonna go backwards over here and you're set with the Appify in NAN. Uh, resource actor, run an actor. Actor source, I like using by URL over here. So I just paste in the actor on here. And, and make sure you're in your console, right? So it says console.appify, right? So make sure you have that for your actor and it'd be like slash actors. So uh, just grab that URL. And then you're wondering what the input JSON, right? So essentially what I have for the input JSON is I just go over here to the input, I click on the JSON tab and I copy this over. Uh, the one thing you'll notice is JSON hashtag. Well, I just literally went over here to the side, dragged and dropped that in over here, right? I'm not gonna do it again. And uh, those are the hashtags, right? Technically you can run multiple hashtags at once. I just put one and I didn't change any other settings, right? You can see uh, nothing else has changed. And it says a new node package version is available. So we'll have to take a look at that after the video. Um, hopefully not a lot has changed. Anyways, when we get data set items over here, right? So let me actually execute this step. So I'll just execute step. And you'll see it runs against Appify. Cool, and these are the results that you end up getting. Again, I'm just gonna pin this just so I don't have to run this again. And now you wanna get the data set items. And you know, my big, my big complaint about this, and listen, it says there's a new version available, so maybe it's changed, is the data set items are kind of hidden in over here. So you're gonna have to go all the way down over here. And it says default data set ID, 
right? You're going to pass that in again, just drag and drop that over there. That gets the data set. I click execute steps. And then you can see this is over here, right? Awesome. So again, I'm just going to pin this and we'll move on. Okay. So next I don't need all of these fields. So what I just do is edit fields. The only thing I want from here, right? I don't really care about the posts. I don't care about the captions. Maybe you do, right? Um, but I just want the username. So all I did is just go over here and grab the username of the individual, right? So json.owner.username. And again, you can just go down over here and find where the username is. I believe it's hidden a little bit down on this side of things. But um, there's username in here. Just drag and drop it. Where is that at? Input, hashtags, mentions. Sorry, I built this a few days ago. Here, there we go. Owner username, right? So that's what I just dragged and dropped in over here. Revenge of the cards and then pass that. Okay, so next step, what we want to do is format all these usernames. So we have 20 right now. The one thing I took a look at, and if we go over here to the profile scraper, I'm going to load this up over here. We're going to have to update our JSON, or not our JSON, but our inputs, right? So if you look over here to the input, right, we have humans of NY, right? But if you put a comma and you can put another username over here, so you can have, you know, a lot of different usernames in over here. So what I have right now, though, is if you go back over here, and I should execute step just to show you guys, and I'll do that right now, and I'll just pin this. You can see you have owner username, user username, right? We can't pass this in. We just have to format that. We can do this pretty easily with Python code. Um, so I just username over here for item and over there, right? So uh, something called list comprehension. Make sure to check out that video if you want to learn a little bit behind like how the Python code works, but I have that on the channel. Uh, and I'm just going over here and formatting it. So you can see if I execute over here, right? We have usernames like this now. So we took all these on that side of things and then we just have this over here. Uh, one thing to note, and this would probably be for like a second version of this. You'll notice that we have repeating usernames. So we have like rock card stock. This didn't happen the first time I actually ran this scraper, but E19 trading cards. Um, so maybe like in the next version of this, right? I would want to have unique usernames in here because there's no there's no need to have the same person scraped multiple times, right? If you go over here to my Instagram leads, right? You can see that these are essentially all different. There might be some duplicates, but like they're all different on there. And if I saw this the first time I ran this, right, I would have built in some code just to make sure that these are unique usernames. Either way, I'm doing a live walk there right now, so I'm not going to make that change. Okay. Next, we're going to do the same thing with another actor. This time we're going to go to the Instagram profile scraper. I already showed you what this looks like over here for the JSON. So again, we do the same thing. We're logged into our Appify account through the API. Right, I grab the URL, which again over there, and then I just pass in this JSON, right? So all the usernames just pass that in over here. Again, just click execute step. And then I'm gonna pin this as well. Also by default, I believe this is wait to finish. So just make sure you click on that. Cool. So then we have this over here. So that means it ran in Appify. And again, same thing, right? To get the data set items. We already have these over here, but I'm going to unpin this and just run it again just to show you guys. And then you can see all this information is over here. Again, just pin it. Cool. All right. So next side of things is I don't need all these fields. So you can look over here, right? There's, there's tons for each of these people. Honestly, I'm going to keep it easy. I want to grab the username. I want to grab the bio the followers count, right? And initially I had, oh, also if it's a private account, right? Because maybe you don't want to market to people that are private. So uh, I'll just click execute step. And there you go, like username, bio, followers account, private, right? So awesome. So we have that now, execute this here again. Next step, what I have is a filter. So I filtered on two things. Number one, I don't want to reach out to people that are under 500 followers. So I make sure that, you know, then you need to have at least 500. So follower count is greater than 500, right? So just go over here and go over here, number, grab that. Uh, additionally, if you want to get the followers, right, just drag and drop that over there. And then private accounts, right, can be a pain to reach out to. So private. And then what we do want to do is go over here to Boolean, right, and say that's false, right? If it's true, those are private accounts. You can't really reach out to them. So that's what I did on that side of things. So this just filters the list again. 
right? And then you'll see anyone under 500 no longer shows. So like someone like just for fun, right? Rock the cardstock, 122 followers. Well, they're not gonna be shown in over here. And this is something you'll see, like people that wanna get Instagram scraping, right? They say, oh, we only want people over 5,000 followers or 10,000 followers, right? So you would wanna do this type of filter in over here and then they probably don't want private accounts. So make sure that the private is false. And yeah, so we have that on there. And lastly, all I did is I appended a row to a Google Sheet. So what I did is use my Google Sheets login, which by the way, check out the video here on the channel. I used operation append row. I found a Google Sheet that I created called Instagram Leads. And just to show you again, I just created a super basic username, bio followers, right? And then what I did is just map each of these. So I dragged and dropped username over here, right? Drag and drop bio over here. And the same with followers. I don't need the private anymore because we've already used that filter and that's it, right? So just to show you, we have what, 16 rows over here. I'm just gonna click execute step. All right, and it says node successfully executed. And you can see in real time, this has updated into 22. So yeah, that is essentially it for this video, right? So if you're gonna scrape Instagram with Appify, typically you're gonna need two actors, right? One actor gets you information from the profiles. One actor gets you the posts that you wanna get, right? Get the username over there. Um, I use this code over here and feel free to copy it. If you wanna specifically take owner usernames like this and then just populate it in over here like that as a list. Uh, that's kind of only, I mean, I wouldn't say that's the only confusing part. The confusing part initially was getting both these actors together because you just need to figure out the workflow. But um, I feel like this trips up the most people, right? Just getting this into the specific format. And uh, yeah, I didn't have filter at the very end because it's gonna really clean up your data, right? Instagram's gonna have some messy data. Well, not necessarily messy, but some bad data if you're trying to scrape, right? You wanna have X amount of followers, maybe X amount of posts, right? There's a, there's a lot of things you could start filtering on. It really just depends, you know, what in here do you care about, right? Um, so you can see on that side of things, right? Maybe you wanna have, you know, whatever else is in over here. I don't know. There's like, maybe you need that, the influencer needs to have 20 posts, right? You can add that in over there as well, or use other hashtags, right? Um, it, it doesn't really matter, right? But uh, feel free to filter also on that side of things. And this edit fields make things really easy when cleaning up data. But yeah, don't use these HTTP requests anymore with Appify, use these uh, nodes on there. And yeah, that's about it for the video. Thanks guys for watching. If you need any help with uh, any integrations, uh, hit me up down below in the description. Feel free to check out my other NAN videos as well. Publishing a few each week right now because a lot of people enjoy them. All right, see you in another video.